Estimate and set your angle of attack, provided that the entry point is one centimeter away from the transducer. We estimate the needle target alignment angle based on the image before we start needling. Set this angle at the beginning and adjust the angle later during live ultrasound feedback. Let's look in more detail on how to estimate the needle target alignment angle, which is also known as the angle of attack, provided that the needle entry is one centimeter caudad to the transducer. Most people can estimate an angle of 45 degrees by splitting a right angle of the ultrasound screen in half. We can use this angle as the reference line. Yellow is the reference line. Red is the parallel line to yellow if needle is placed one centimeter away from the transducer, and green is the planned angle of attack. According to our estimates, the green line, which is the desired trajectory, is slightly less than 45 degrees. If you set the correct angle of attack at the beginning, you will need very little adjustment of that angle during live ultrasound feedback. Numb the entry point with a small 25 gauge or less needle. This is not needed if the patient is heavily sedated. Before even looking at the ultrasound screen, focus on the external alignment of the needle and the probe. You want to have a good eye level and position to avoid a parallax error. Parallax is a difference in the apparent position of an object viewed along two different lines of sight. To do this correctly, one must assume a position with their line of sight as closely aligned with the long axis of the ultrasound probe. When you look at the probe, you do not want to see its lateral sides. If the needle is not aligned from the start, you may need multiple adjustments to keep it in view during advancement. Place the needle one centimeter back from the transducer. Pop through the skin and establish the earlier estimated angle of attack. As shown on the following image, the surrogate marker for the angle between the needle and the surface could be the distance between the needle hub and the transducer from your point of view. Pay attention to this distance during practice so you can set the appropriate angle when you need it. For example, the distance and the angle on the right image is more appropriate for our particular case. Confirm external alignment and advance the needle 1.5 to 2 centimeters in. Next, advance the needle under the ultrasound probe up to the 2 centimeter needle mark at the skin. Be sure to have the needle hub and tip aligned with the long axis of the transducer. From here, switch your attention to the ultrasound screen and adjust alignments based on the ultrasound image.